Today I'm showing you my new portable imaging mount. It's the Skywatcher Start Venture GTI. Hey folks, my name's Steve and welcome to Scotia Astro. I recently picked up a Start Venture GTI from Skywatcher and wanted to share an unboxing and first impressions with you and let you all know what I'm planning to use it for. Firstly, for full disclosure, this is my own mount that I paid for myself and you'll get my honest opinions on it. Before we start, I'd also like to give a big shout out to Adam and his team down at Rother Valley Optics for providing first class service and super fast delivery on my mount. I'll share a link to them in the description below the video so you can go check that out. I opted for the full package of a tripod and small pier extension but the Start Venture also comes as a mount only option if you already have mounting solutions. All my tripods and piers are currently occupied, so I just grabbed the all-in-one. Let's start with a quick unboxing and see what's included. Right, I'll get all this assembled and we'll see you back here in a bit. Well, that was a really straightforward build and the included manual does a good job at guiding you through things. Everything feels nice and sturdy for mounting a lightweight rig, but I'll run some first light tests in an upcoming video to see how it performs. So make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell notification below so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. Let's go over some of the main specs and features of the Start Venture and then I'll share my own plans on how I'll be using this wee beauty. The GTI version of the Start Venture is a small lightweight equatorial mount for taking pictures of deep space, wide field astrophotography shots and also nightscape photos, so it's built to be really versatile. The mount head itself weighs in at just 5.7 pounds or 2.5 kilos and it has a payload capacity of 11 pounds or around 5 kilos. Even with the inclusion of the pier extension and the tripod, the mount's easy to pick up and move around your imaging location. This is one of the main reasons I got it, but more about this later. You also get two small counterweights for balancing your scope or camera lens on the mount. There's a 0.7 kilo and 1.6 kilo option included with your start venture. It has a latitude range from 0 to 70 degrees and for you folks near the equator you can move the counterweight bar to handier position. The mount comes with a Vixen style dovetail, but I've got an upgrade that I'll show you later in the video so you can attach a beefier Lozmandy plate. You can power the mount via 8 AA batteries like these excellent Eneloop batteries that I used, or there's a 12 volt DC power connection for an external power supply unit. The mount or pier extension can be connected to any tripod via the standard 3 8 inch thread. The tripod also has a handy accessory tray to store a range of gear. On the back of the unit there's also a variety of ports through which you can control your mount. I'll go over these in more detail in my first light video, but just quickly there's a USB port for connecting to a PC, an ST4 auto guiding port, a hand controller port for a SIN scan pad, a DSLR snap port for shutter control, and the power port. Your imaging sessions with the Start Venture can be controlled wirelessly via phone, tablet, or PC through the SIN scan app, so you have a huge range of options here. I'll likely be controlling mine via an ASI or Mini, but I'll go over this process and how I connect everything in my first light video, so stay tuned for that. So in terms of my personal plans for the Start Venture, I'll be using this as a ready-to-go lightweight imaging platform, which will have a small high-speed imaging system permanently attached. This will be my compact and fully integrated rig based around the Samyang 135F2 lens with a few different dedicated one-shot color cameras like the ZWO 2600MC Pro and the 533MC Pro. I've got a separate video on this, so I'll share a link up here in the description below too, so you can go check that out after you watch this video. I've been looking at grabbing a smaller mount that I could just pick up and plonk outside for a while now and the Start Venture of GTI seemed like the perfect match. I had been considering some of the newer lightweight harmonic drives on the market, but many of the lighter capacity ones didn't have a straightforward option for mounting a Laws Mandy plate and they were also much more expensive than the Start Venture. Up until now I'd been attaching my Samyang system onto my AZ EQ6 GT Pro mount and although it was rock solid it did look a bit ridiculous and some may say I was a bit overmounted. By using a separate smaller mount, I can now free up the AZ EQ6 for a larger scope and run two rigs in tandem. We Brits need to maximize any clear skies we get, and this lets me do it. Speaking of portability, I also wanted a rig that I could throw in the car and set up remotely under some darker skies than I have here in my backyard. I recently picked up this small power station from EcoFlow that I'll be reviewing soon, and it should supply me with plenty of juice when I'm off grid. I've also grabbed a smaller solar panel to independently charge the power station, so bring on the zombie apocalypse. I'm ready. I mentioned some upgrade options earlier in the video and the first one that I'm going to fit is this awesome dual saddle dovetail adapter from ADM. While the standard saddle in the Start Venture works just fine, the way it attaches to your scope can cause some marring on your dovetail plates, so the ADM upgrade solves this by using a proper sturdy clamp. I'll be showing you how to fit this in a future video, so stay tuned. 
I'm really looking forward to getting some first light testing done with this Wii mount and I'll share my findings with you as soon as I get some clear skies. Do you have the Start Venture GTI or any similar lightweight mounts? Let me know in the comments section below and share your experience with everyone. Thanks very much for joining me for another video and I hope you guys are having a great day or night wherever you are in the world. Clear skies to you all.